hey this is Annie and today we're going to be learning how to use Adobe Fresco. More specifically we're going to be learning how to use the mask tool. Um, so for the longest time I totally avoided using Fresco because I was like there is absolutely no clipping mask so um, this tutorial will solve for that so enjoy. Okay, so before I begin some context, there are currently two different mass tools in Adobe Fresco. One is the mass layer content tool, which is good for adding textures and additional colors onto the shape. And the other one is the create empty mass tool, which is good for cleaning up and creating the shape without destroying it. So with that knowledge, we can start now. All right, so this is Adobe Fresco, and the first thing we'll do is we'll look for the pixel brush. So that's the pixel brush, and I'll start by drawing a square. So from there, I can fill that up with the paint drop tool or drop paint tool. Um, it's really dumb because there's the white lines around. I just go ahead and fill that in. Um, don't know why pixel brushes do that, though. From there, we'll look for the mass layer content tool. So there it is. And then I'll make a new layer, copy that layer, and then paste that layer. And then we can swipe back. That's the layer in which we can draw onto with different colors and different textures. So there we go. And that's the basic. So you can swipe back, Oop, swipe back, that's the square, and then I'm just gonna hide it. So this is the other mass tool. So first I start by drawing a square again, um, and then what I'll do is I'll create an empty mask, and from there we'll just swipe, and you can see the shape, and then you can hide it, and you can reveal it. So this tool is really good to clean up your shape, without destroying it. So there it is. And that's the basic. And now we'll see it in action. Well, more specifically, we'll see the mass layer content tool in action. So this is how I start with a sketch. So this is my woo, kind of blurry sketches. Um, some of these little guys and start off with a sketch. This is me sketching super duper quick. Um, I usually take really long to do these, but this is a time-lapse version. So from the sketch, I'll further refine the sketch and then I'll kind of drop the basic colors into it and I'll kind of use the sketch to guide where I'm drawing things. And it's super annoying, but sometimes I have to go over things like a million times to get it right. And in the first process of this, the coloring wasn't even correct, but that's fine. I'm just showing you guys how I use the mask layer content tool. So here it is in action. Um, I'm like having trouble finding the texture that I want because again, I think this is kind of the first Maybe not first, but kind of first time I'm using Adobe Fresco with this mask tool. Um, so yeah. So now I'm just messing with the mass layer content tool. 
um, tried to play with the ruler for a bit and yeah, didn't really, didn't really like playing with the ruler because I was like, I can just eyeball everything, so that's fine. Alright, so I ended up taking this drawing away from the filming station and refining it and recoloring it a little bit more. And so this right now will be a cleaner version of me showcasing the mask layer content tool. So I'm drawing a little bean sprout and the little bean sprout, I'll just color it in with the, what is it, paint drop color, paint drop color? color drop paint I don't know I'll just use that bucket tool and then from there remember what I said earlier you have to fill it in which is super annoying um, I'm not sure why that's the case because in the vector brush you don't have to do that although for the vector brush you can't even use the mask tool which is kind of weird but yeah that's kind of where Adobe Fresco I guess is at so here I am making the mask and I have to copy it and create a new layer and paste that mask on the new layer. From there, I'll click done and I have to swipe back in order to add in the new color slash texture. So I'm gonna go with a darker color of this and here we go, here we go. And there you have it, that's Kind of a subtle, oop, not subtle, but a little bit more of a shadow. Some highlights. And there you have it. That's how you use the mask layer content tool. And there you have it. Those were the two mask tools that we just learned in Adobe Fresco. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you around for the next videos, whenever that is. <laughs> All right, later.